Georgia Gym Dogs, 14 SEC championships and six national championships, battled the Alabama Crimson Tide, five SEC titles, four national titles. It's the Battle of the Reds in Tuscaloosa on the mats. in Tuscaloosa. Welcome to the home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. The atmosphere is electric. Alabama hosting their rival, Georgia Gym Dogs. It's SEC Gymnastics, and it doesn't get any better than this. Hello, everybody. I'm Corey Kessler inside Coleman Coliseum, a place they call the Big Show. And what a show tonight. You can feel the intensity rising. They expect over 15,000 fans inside this Coliseum tonight. And why not? It's a rivalry like no other in college gymnastics. Georgia and Alabama is a huge rivalry comparable to Duke and North Carolina in men's college basketball. Two teams that whenever they meet, it's all about national implications within the same conference. For more now on the defending national champion Georgia Gym Dogs, we send it over to our Lori Strong Ballard. Lori? Well, Corey, for the Georgia Gym Dogs, I guess the rich do get richer. The defending national champions return almost their entire title winning team, and they've reloaded with an incredibly talented freshman class, including an Olympic medalist, Courtney Coupez. Well, despite Georgia's top finish last year, they still had to endure an uncharacteristic losing streak. Those inconsistencies have been swept under the mat this year. They are ranked number one in the country, have a perfect record, and continue to get better with every competition. Suzanne, what is the biggest difference with this year's team? Well, we have more depth, so the team is able to compete in practice for lineup positions, and that just makes you so much stronger. Already the crowd is pouring in here to see two of the top teams in the nation go head-to-head. -head. Your team is still young. How do you think they'll handle this intense environment? They are young. Actually, we have uh, our whole sophomore class and freshmen, of course, have never competed in Coleman Coliseum, but they're ready. They're ready for this big crowd. They're ready for this tight competition. Well, where is the focus tonight? What is the key to, to get this win? Well, the key for us will be on even bars. It's the starting event. It's the event that, you know, is sometimes awesome and sometimes we have problems. So if we start out strong, I think we'll just even distance ourselves further from Alabama. Well, good luck tonight. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Corey. On the other side, Bama with five SEC titles and four national titles. With more on the Crimson Tide, let's send it over to Natalie Taylor. Corey, Georgia may have a few up on Alabama in the rankings, but Alabama already has one up on Georgia tonight. This crowd, Coach Patterson, only your second home meet of the season, but there's no place like home. There really isn't. We've been road warriors. We've been on the road four out of the last five weeks, and it's just great to be back in the confines of Coleman Coliseum and to see this wonderful crowd here to witness some of the best collegiate gymnastics in the country. But you have a relatively young team. Are they ready for a meet with such national prominence like tonight's? Well, I think so. I think that's what's going to get us ready for the SEC championships and the national championships. And if you come to the University of Alabama, you come to be a part of a meet like this. Sarah, good luck to you and your team. Corey, the tide's ready to roll. Indeed, the tide's ready to roll, Natalie. The Gym Dogs with Kelsey Harrington. You'll see a lot of her tonight. She's junior number one in America on the bars. She is at her peak mentally and physically. And how about Katie Keenan? The sophomore coach Jacqueline says she will deliver. For the Alabama Crimson Tide, you're going to see a lot of her. Ashley Miles so confident in boys before this meet begins. And Karen Holcomb, some Olympic medals to her name. Focused and ready to roll, as is the Alabama Elephant mascot. Well, who will score a perfect 10? Come back and find out right after this break. Anytime Alabama Georgia gets together to do anything, you know, gymnastics oriented, it's going to be exciting just because of the history and the rivalry behind, you know, between the two teams. We love the fact that um, the majority of the people here and in Athens are very educated gymnastics fans. Sarah and David have done a great job of educating their fans, and you come over here and you know that the people respect the gymnastics. The fans here are it's terrific. I mean, when can you compete against in front of 12, 13, 14, 15,000 people? You can't even do that in Athens because our capacity is 10,000. So. So, you know, we love that. Indeed, you'll love this too. A great gymnastic big coach Yaku says she loves to teach the fight and what a fight it will be tonight. Corey, these two teams are competitive in every area. Recruiting, attendance, wins and losses, you name it, it's an all-out rivalry. Well, let's get things 
going, Lori, here at the Mana from Georgia on Bars, led by Ashley Kopetz, Abby Stack, and then Courtney Kopetz will be the last one on Bars. And now we're looking at Katie Heenan. Coach says she will deliver. Let's see if she does, Lori. And Georgia looking to deliver on at least five of six routines. Six hit routines will really help them build on their scores. A new routine for Katie this year. A new release move. That was a Jaeger. Nicely done. Beautiful handstand position on the low bar. Back up to the high bar. Of course, you're looking for those finer details. Hitting the handstands and sticking the landings. Wow. Pretty clean landing. Great routine. Has to be her assistant coach pleased with that. Let's look at the replay, Lori. Tell us about it again. Katie's major release move, a Jaeger. Look at the height she gets. This is a new routine for her. It still has that same high difficulty we saw last year, but a composition that Katie feels more comfortable with and that she could be more consistent with every week. And a 9.850. We move now to the Bama vault lineup. It'll start out with freshman Melanie Banville. Ashley Miles will be the final competitor for that. Here's Dana Folletti. And she's a senior from Chesapeake, Virginia. Let's see what she has to offer. Alabama coming off of a 49.425 last meet. Great job by Dana. That's a Yurchenko half front layout. Dana gets a beautiful stretch position in the air. Really showing off that laid out position right here. A blind landing so difficult to stick. She does take the step on the landing. A mandatory one-tenth deduction. Another 9.850 for Dana. And here we go to Kelsey Erickson. Kelsey's ranked number one in the country on bars. And physically, she is in the best shape of her life. And it really shows on this event. So powerful and aggressive, right into a sky-high Tkachev. Again, these athletes are looking to hit those handstand positions. A second major release move, a Pike Jaeger. That's an E-level skill, one of the most difficult skills you can do. Last handstand right on top. Excellent job. More difficulty in the dismount and a blind landing, and she nails it. What an amazing routine. Another good routine for Georgia. Incredible balance, Lori. Let's look at the replay again and tell us about that E move you were talking about. Well, actually, this is an E level dismount, the double Arabian. Georgia has really upgraded the level of difficulty on bars, especially in their dismounts. So tough to get that landing. I saw her working on it over and over again in warm-up. She hits it in the competition. Yep, and it earns her a 9.875. Don't go anywhere. That's Courtney Kupetz. She's on the horizon for the gym dogs. And Ashley Miles, a three-time All-American. You don't want to miss this when we come back. Dick and Jim. Welcome back to Coleman Coliseum. The Bama fans cheering on their Crimson Tide. Hey, they're undefeated, why not? But so are the Georgia Gym Dogs, and they brought their fans as well. Corey Kessler, Lori Strong Ballard, and Natalie Taylor here tonight for one great event. This is Brittany McGee on vault, a true freshman, Lori. And Alabama has already been so strong on this event. They still have their two top vaulters to go, including Brittany, definitely one of their great Freshman addition to Yurchenko, layout full vault that scored out of a 10. Huge amplitude on that vault for Brittany. One more time on the replay. She did score a 995 in her last competition. This score will be lower than that because of the landing. Technically, it's very strong, extremely powerful, but take a look, at least a one to two tenth deduction on that hop on the landing. And you were right, Lori. She gets a 9.875 because a little bit of that hop, like you mentioned, now let's move on to the freshman, Courtney Kupetz, who Coach Yachlin says she scores a 10 for her every day in practice. This truly is a world-class level competition here, especially on bars. Between the two teams, there are two Olympic medalists and two world championship medals won between these two teams. Courtney performs an extremely high level of difficulty with perfect body positions. You can see that she's had that elite training. Take a look at her hollow chest, tight, squeezed body throughout the entire routine. Oh, tiny hop on the landing. Other than that, a beautiful bar routine. Incredible routine there, and Coach Yachlin says she hasn't reached her true potential yet. Amazing to think what she will do when she does reach that potential as we look at the replay. 
even Olympic medalists still have to make some transitions and adjustments when they come to college gymnastics. They're competing every single weekend, but Courtney did a great job for Georgia on that event. And she gets a 9.875 for her efforts. As we take a look after the first rotation, Kelsey Erickson leads them off on bars and a cumulative score of 49.175 for the Georgia Gym Dogs on bars. And that's Ashley Miles. Bama coach Sarah Patterson says the team rallies around her, Lori. Let's see if they rally around this effort from Ashley Miles. She has a tremendous amount of confidence, not only in her own performance, but what the team can do as well. And they're saving the best for last. A huge, extremely long Yurchenko layout full. Still just that tiny, tiny hop on the landing. That will prevent her from getting that perfect 10 that we, we have seen her do before. The round off onto the board. Nice, strong push from the board. You can see her looking for the landing throughout this entire vault. She needs to bend those knees and really absorb that power to get the perfect 10, but this should be a big score. There it is. A 9.925. So much poise and confidence in Ashley Miles. Certainly we will see that later out, later on throughout the meet. So there it is, Ashley Miles after the first rotation on vault, followed by Brittany McGee. A cumulative score of 49.325 for the Crimson Tide. So the home team with just a slight advantage after the first rotation, here's Natalie Taylor with the visiting coach. Suzanne, when we talked with you earlier, you said that the girls had to hit bars and set the tone for the night. Did it happen? They absolutely hit bars. I think it's one of the best bar sets that we've done all year. We didn't really stick a lot of dismounts, but uh, the scoring was tight, and it really didn't reflect, I don't think, how well we actually did. So you think the girls are in good spirits going into the vault? They are. They are. They feel like they did a great job, and we're not really, you know, we can't control the scores, just the performance. So uh, they're really psyched about vaulting. Okay, well, good luck in your next event. Thank you. And, of course, Bama is psyched about trying to extend the lead. We're going to see Bama's Taryn Humphrey see if she can push that lead when we come back. Welcome back. After one rotation, Alabama with a slight edge. See if the Gym Dogs can fight back. And they have a pretty good lineup on vault as we take a look, Lori. Take a look, two freshmen anchoring this lineup. Last year, Georgia struggled with depth on this event, but this year, much different story. The addition of these newcomers can really increase the chances of putting up big scores. And this is Ashley Kupetz from Gaithersburg, Maryland. Very powerful athlete. Doing a different style of vault here. She does the half onto the table, pike off, incredible distance. Vaulting coach Doug McGavin, 21 years by Suzanne Yachlin's side. The chemistry between this coaching staff is incredible, and that's why they are so successful. Let's take a look at Ashley's vault. The half twist from the board to the vaulting table increases the chance for an inconsistent block or push from the vault. Not a problem here with Ashley. She gets great height and distance. Just a one-tenth deduction on the landing. A 9.850. There's Ashley Miles gearing up. We'll see her in just a minute. First, we look at the Bama Bars lineup. Of course, Taryn Humphrey will finish them off. Dana Folletti there on the bottom as well, the senior. But now we go to Ashley Miles. So much confidence coming in, Lori. We'll see if that confidence can play out on the uneven bars. She's just so amazing to listen to before this competition. Of course, that confidence is something that the team feeds off of. Huge move coming up right here. Shaposhnikova mount. Five foot seven, Ashley is. So that makes her gymnastics even oh. bigger and a huge miss right there on her Hindorf, her second major release move. Hate to see that, but what happens now, Lori? Corey, she has 30 seconds to remount and continue with her routine. She'll chalk up. Let's take a look at what happened here on the Hindorf. She's five foot seven, and everything she does is explosive and huge, and that's part of the risk of this element. She wants to make it big and nice distance from the high bar so that she can get good swing coming out of it. And she was just a few centimeters off, and that means at least a five-tenths deduction plus the loss of that difficulty element. Fortunately, no serious injury. She's back up there. Part of the job of a gymnast is to come back even after mistakes, come back strong so that they can still get somewhat of a score for the team. 9.275, you just have to hope it doesn't rattle her confidence by the time we see the floor routine. Courtney Kupetz now top vault score in 2006 was a 9.90 as you see. Let's see what she has on the board. 
Same vault, we just saw her sister perform and a little bit better landing. Just the seventh Olympic gymnast to compete for Georgia. Courtney tore her Achilles tendon in 2003 at the World Championships, and now she's dealing with an injury on the other Achilles. She does a great job here on the vault. Great technique, helps keep her square during the half turn onto the vaulting table. Nice height and distance. She comes up with a 9.9. .9. Don't you go anywhere. You're gonna see her, Taryn Humphrey, for the Crimson Tide when we come back. SEC. Welcome back to Tuscaloosa. It's time now for Melanie Banville on the bars with the crowd watching. There's Melanie, the freshman from Ontario, on the uneven bars. And remember, Alabama's leader, Ashley Miles, just fell on her routine. So this is a huge learning experience for this freshman. It's really tough to see one of your teammates miss like that. The pressure's on her. She knows she has to get a hit here. Giant full to Kotchev. Looking for the handstand here on the straddle back, and she goes over but covers up. Covers up with the switch kip. Just a freshman, but boy, does she have a lot of experience competing internationally and at the Olympic Games for Canada. Dismount, double layout, hops on the landing. But a good comeback routine. She thought through the entire routine, covering up mistakes. The home crowd certainly likes it. This is her major release move in combination, coming from a giant full into her Tukachev. A 9.775. The home crowd has to appreciate that as we move to the vault. And Tiffany Tolney, another freshman, Lori, from Grapevine, Texas. And Tiffany has the ability to really build on Courtney Coupette's 9-9, Georgia's last vaulter. She has huge difficulty here. Yuchenko, one and a half, the only one performing that level of difficulty in this competition, just outstanding. You know, I saw her perform this vault against LSU just a week ago. She nailed the landing. I thought for sure she'd get a perfect 10, but the judges have not yet awarded a perfect 10 in the country on any event. She did take a step there, so the 10 is not possible, but boy, do you have to reward her for showing that kind of risk. And after the second rotation, take a look. Courtney Coupette's 9.90. Tiffany Tolner with a 9.85. Cumulative score, 49. And there she is, Taryn Humphrey, the silver medalist from the Olympic Games. Her top bar score in 06. You saw it. Let's see what she has. She's also the defending national champion on this event. It's a nice combination of skills there into a Hokina release move. And her second release move is a Ginger. She's right on. all of her pirouettes in the vertical handstand position. She has to get this last handstand. Pretty good job. And of course, a stuck landing on the double layout. Excellent routine. Boy, that was incredible. Bama coming back strong with Taryn Humphrey after the fall by Ashley Miles, just what they needed. Hopefully the judges will feel the same way for the Crimson Tide. A clutch performance by Taryn. There was great variety and combination work and difficult release moves and, of course, the stuck landing on the dismount. That's where the judges are rewarding with the big scores. And with their rewarder, indeed, 9.90. That is her season best in that event. A solid effort from Taryn Humphrey, but you have to throw out the 9.275 that we saw earlier. So the cumulative score, 48.975, Lori, is not going to be enough to hold the lead for the Crimson Tide. The Gym Dogs take a slight advantage. We'll see if Bama can fight back when we come back. My South. Welcome back to Coleman Coliseum. An incredible gymnastics made after two rotations. Georgia has a slim edge over Alabama. Lori, tell us what happened early on as you saw it. Well, so far this competition has been great, and that's why it's close. Both these teams are throwing that big difficulty, and you can also see them looking for those finer details, sticking the landings and hitting the handstands. The judges have been strict on taking those deductions, and we're seeing it in the score so far. 
One of the better performers here tonight, Ashley Miles, started out so well on vault. What happened on bars? Boy, that was an uncharacteristic mistake from a veteran athlete for the Tide. She has so much experience. Uh, I was not expecting that miss at all, but the Tide did come back strong with Taryn Humphrey scoring a 9-9. We'll see what happens throughout the rest of this competition. Yes, we will, Lori, as Bama tries to rally and retake the lead. Let's take a look now at the Bama lineup on beam. Brittany McGee, the freshman, Ashley O'Neill, and they're gonna finish it off with Taryn Humphrey. Right now we go to Brittany McGee, the freshman from Arlington, Texas. It's crucial for Alabama to stay on this event. If they can keep it close after three events, they will have the advantage heading into their final event floor, which can be a very high scoring and confident event for them. They need a good score here. If things started off well for the Crimson Tide in the beam. Gainer, one arm back handspring layout. Balance check there. You see her weight going onto her back foot, forcing her to wobble. Excellent, clean and tight front aerial. Leg above horizontal, full turn. What's the degree of difficulty here, Lori? So far, an excellent degree of difficulty. The judges want to see those triple flights, and if they don't do the triple flight like we saw Brittany do, they will also want to see another D-level skill, which we saw in the front aerial. So far, Brittany is confident. And another D-level skill there, a front tuck. Wow. Tells you a lot about this athlete, only a freshman, and Sarah Patterson is already relying on her as their leadoff performer. Huge dismount, wow. double back dismount. Excellent start off routine, very solid. You can only imagine a freshman in a meet of this magnitude coming through with this performance. This is the kind of meet these competitors really look forward to. Excellent routine, just a tiny bobble on that tumble series. A 9-8-2-5 for Brittany McGee. And Coach Yakla known so well for keeping her troops focused, does it once again as we head to the floor. And here's the lineup for the gym dogs on the floor exercise. Ashley Kupatz will lead them off. Vicki Childs and Katie Heenan will round out the Georgia gym dogs. This is Kelsey Erickson. Off to a great year, according to Coach Yachlin, Lori. Suzanne says that she's having her one of her best years ever. She's in incredible shape. She's been training some more difficulty. Was possibly planning on putting it into this routine. An opening pass, no, she sticks with the old and Ooh. over rotates big time, that double pike. Looked like she almost stepped out of bounds there as well. Using her experience to keep it in bounds, but there will be a two-tenth deduction for those two steps. I talked about her adding more difficulty. She's ready to add a full in back out in that opening pass. Maybe she just uh, was fired up and ready to do the more difficult skill and allowed the intensity of this competition to get to her. Quite an uncharacteristic mistake from Kelsey. She came back strong with a second tumbling pass, front lay out full, front lay out full, clean and a solid landing. before that final tumbling pass. More difficulty here, double tuck. Finds the landing this time. I was impressed when we were talking to her before the meet, Lori, and she said that her gymnastics is at its peak mentally and physically. Well, Georgia has tweaked their conditioning program this year. They've gone away from doing a lot of that weight training and doing more sports-specific training. And you see Kelsey throughout this entire competition doing a lot of mental imagery. Again, a little bit of an uncharacteristic mistake here. Yes, she stayed in bounds, but two tenths deduction from that over rotated double pike. And she comes out with a 9 6 7 5. As we move to Bama on the beam, this is freshman Cassie Martin. Talk about a young team for Alabama. Half of their beam lineup are freshmen. And boy, are they gaining valuable experience here. Indeed, they are, Lori. I, I remember. Coach Patterson talking about her freshmen and how much they were going to have to rely on their routines. Switch ring. Hey, 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 
Required element is a full turn. Excellent front aerial. Solid. You can hear her teammates cheering her on on the sidelines. Just a year out of high school, how much pressure would she be feeling right now in front of this large crowd? Corey, this is huge, especially for such a young athlete. She needs to block out the fact that she's performing in front of a huge crowd, watching every movement that she does, and of course, the judges as well. More than 14,000 people packed into Coleman Coliseum, all staring at Cassie. Cassie's just allowing her muscle memory to take over right now. They perform these routines in the gym so many times. It's about repetition, and tonight it pays off. A solid routine from just a freshman. Incredible, as her team approves, We'll have to see if the judges approve. Cassie trained at Hills Gymnastics, the same gym that George's Ashley and Courtney Coquettes came from. So a little bit of a reunion here for them. So a score two tenths higher than Georgia's last floor score. They're back in the hunt. And when we come back, the number one performer in the country on floor, Katie Heenan. See her for yourself. Welcome back to Coleman Coliseum. Taryn Humphrey, the silver medalist in the Olympics. A little originality right here. A move that Taryn created and is named after her. Taryn throws some huge risk in this routine. And again, Alabama needs a big score from their best beam worker here. Full twisting, back handspring, back handspring, layout, and she's off. Oh. You could see it coming out of that second back handspring. The wow. back leg was way out of line. She hops right back up. You Five always, tenths deduction for the fall. You always finish routines, correct? Absolutely. Unless there is an injury or some reason why you cannot finish. Switch leap, wolf jump, leg was a little bit low on the switch leap. The judges want to see that 180 degree split. Big quarter twisting back handspring, excellent stability in her handstand at the end of that. Taryn took a little bit of time off this summer, probably one of the first vacations she's taken in a long time. She was training so intensely for the Olympic Games. The coaches felt that she really needed to take that time off. And you could see it in her gymnastics. She's still starting to get back into shape. And beam is a really tough event to get back into competition form. We saw an excellent job from her on bars, but here she was uh. off on a very difficult tumble series. Back leg way out of line. You could see the disappointment now. She's explaining to Coach Patterson what happened. She gets a 9.325. That will probably hurt as we get to the overall scores, but here's Cassie Martin after the third rotation with the best score on beam, 9.875. A cumulative score of 49.075. What that'll mean for the overall scores, we'll have to find out. This is Katie Heenan, number one in the country in the floor exercise, her top score, 9.950. And the door is open for Georgia here. They knew that they had to make up ground here, something that they can do. They are ranked number one in the country on floor. Katie opening with an E in combination to a front pike. That was a front double twist. What a clean landing. Says her all-time favorite hero is Dominique Dawes. Everyone out there from the Olympics and gymnastics knows who Dominique Dawes is. Former Olympian. It's really incredible being at a competition like this because some of these athletes say that Katie and Courtney Coupettes are, are their heroes in the sport, and now they're competing against them at the collegiate level. Just amazing competition. Double pike. Katie nails her landing. I also find it interesting to read in her bio that her favorite movie is How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Looks like she's about to win a competition, or so she hopes. Katie has incredible personality. She really brings a lot to this team. And she shows it off throughout her choreography on this event. Last 
tumbling pass front full front layout half step out clean finish the scores have been tight all night very conservative but georgia needs a big one here somewhere in the range of those nine nines the big smile on her face tells it all she feels she's got a great score on this one excellent opening tumbling pass an e-level front double twist what i really liked is to see the clean legs throughout the twist legs were glued together a 9.850 a sigh of relief for katie heenan that's the top score along with tiffany tolmay for the georgia floor routine after the third rotation a cumulative score 48.950 that looks like it's going to help them hold on to the lead as we go to the final rotation. The Crimson Tide are headed to the floor next. It's just getting good in Tuscaloosa. So what is my South? My South is home. It's those hot summers when my cousins and I would gather under the shade and suck on ices we made with a styrofoam cup and red cherry Kool-Aid. My South is nappy hair and straightening combs and plaits, not braids. It's family reunions and BBQs and fish fries and God willing in the crew. 14,800, the announced paid attendance at Coleman Coliseum and they are seeing quite a show between the Georgia Gym Dogs and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Can coach Suzanne Yachlin keep the momentum for the Gym Dogs? We're gonna find out in just a couple minutes with the final rotation. Here's Georgia's lineup on beam, led off by Kelsey Erickson and finished off by Courtney Kupetz, the fabulous freshman. Okay, now let's take a look at what Katie has done so far. 19, uh, 2005 SEC All-Around Champ. In this meet, she's had quite a showing on the bars. A 9.850. Showing off this year's new routine with a sky-high Jaeger Salto. Next up was Vault. And she equaled that score with another 9.850. Just a slight step back there. And then on the floor, another 9.850 for Katie Heenan, number one in the country on floor. Now let's see how she does on beam. Remember, she's second in the all-around competition right now. Needs a good score to keep the gym dogs on top. Katie is an athlete who knows a lot about high-pressure situations. She can get the job done. The SEC Championships last year, she nailed this event to win the all-around title and the team title for Georgia. Very strong back handspring layout. I asked her one word to describe this rivalry. She said, quote, intense. You know, both these coaches have very different jobs on their hands right now. Suzanne for Georgia needs to keep her team calm. They need to focus and block out the distractions from this huge crowd. Not easy to do when you have over 14,000 eyes watching. Katie looks extremely calm. Almost as if she's having fun out there on balance beam. Four inches wide, just the dismount left. Round of double twist, legs glued together, and a solid landing. A great routine for Georgia. That should help keep them on top if the judges agree, Lori. Two teammates before her, Tiffany and Nikki, both showed their nerves with wobbly routines, but boy, was Katie right on through this entire routine. <laughs> that effort, a 9.875 for Katie Heenan. She feels it. She knows it was good. Laura, you talked about the two different styles of coaching here, how you have to get your team to feed off the energy at home. The Crimson Tide coach Sarah Patterson going to do just that in the floor routine. Ashley O'Neill going to lead them off, the freshman. And Ashley Miles, you know what she can do on floor. She will be the last competitor to go. But first, we see the freshman, Brittany McGee, just five feet for the freshman. And boy, have we seen some solid performances from her tonight. Already very reliable and a huge contributor for the Tide. Sarah talked about the advantage of ending on floor. Once again, feeding off the energy. Plus, they have a one, two, three punch with Brittany, Melanie, and Ashley. Brittany opening with a huge half in, half out. Coach Patterson also talked about the freshman group she has, talented, cohesive, and their willingness to improve. 
so important when it com comes to team competition and collegiate gymnastics. Two whips to a double pike. She makes it look easy. Coach Patterson talks about momentum, wants to get better each meet. And it certainly looks like her freshman is right there. An extremely close competition. We couldn't have scripted it any better. At this point, I would say that the ball is in Alabama's court. Georgia has only an 0-5 lead, but Alabama is on an event, the floor, that has a higher scoring potential. Georgia is on beam, a very risky event. And a bit easier to feed off the energy in the Coliseum? Absolutely. This team's going to have a great time competing on floor. Remember, this is only their second home meet. They are having a great time out there and putting together some good performances. So the freshman from Arlington, Texas, hoping for a good score. Looked like a solid routine, Lori. Outstanding difficulty, wonderful variety of skills throughout this routine. Two whips to a double pike. A routine with this kind of difficulty would anchor, would finish up a lineup of any other team in the country. A 9.875 for the freshman. Matches Katie Heenan's score on balance beam for Georgia, so there's no loss or gain in the competition. This is Melanie Banville for the Crimson Tide, a member of the 2004 Canadian Olympic team. One of Canada's best floor workers and now one of the Tide's best floor workers. Looking to feed off of the score that we just saw from Brittany McGee, opening with a full in in a pike position. 9.875 for Brittany. Melanie hopes to better that, possibly get into the 9.9s. And we've seen only a few 9.9s given by these judges tonight. You can see her feeding off the energy in the Coliseum. Second pass is a twisting one, two and a half. Punch front, solid landing. All-around finalist in Athens, Greece at the Olympic Games for the Canadian team, 2004. Very entertaining dance, her third and final tumbling pass. You can see her getting tight into the corner giving herself plenty of room for the double pike. A little stumble on the landing. Almost behind her music, she pops right into her ending pose. Again, big difficulty in her tumbling. Strong hurdle gives her plenty of power into this piked full in. A nice, huge lunge finish. A 9.825 for Melanie Banville. And it's setting up for a fantastic finish. Courtney Coupets on the beam is coming up, and Ashley Miles on the floor. She'll be the final performer for Bama, their number one performer when we come back. In practice, Courtney, uh, you know, she scores a 10 for me every single day. I mean, probably in the last 100 beam routines, she's had 95 of them a perfect 10. And in competition, she's still 9.8, 9.825, you know, wobble here, wobble there. She hasn't even come close to hitting her stride. When she breaks out, she just, I mean, I can see her going 10s on three events. She's that phenomenal. Courtney Kupetz, the all-around leader in this event, just one of a handful of competitors from Georgia who could compete for a national title in the all-around events. Off to a great start here, 9.875 on bars. Showing off her clean lines and impeccable form. A 9.90 on vault. Courtney is so quick twitched and it shows off on this event. Excellent job and competing on floor for the first time since the beginning of the season, not a problem. She got a 9.80 on the floor exercise, and here's Courtney on beam, looking for a big score. So much riding on this performance. Team win for Georgia, a good away score for Georgia, and of course that all-around title, solid, that can spring layout layout. She really fights to hold on to that landing. Minimum deduction there on the wobble. Front tuck, 
Wolf jump a little bit slow in the connection from the front tuck to the wolf jump, but again, she doesn't need that difficulty. Slight wobble there on the full turn. Impressed that in practice they had Bama fans come in and yell at their performers during their routines. Not something that Suzanne had planned, but something that the girls and their fans really get a kick out of, really helping prepare them for this kind of environment. And what a great job for Courtney. Solid performance, only two tiny wobbles, half tent deductions there. Key tumble series here, back handspring layout into another layout. You can see she's a little bit crooked, a little stiff on that front leg, but she holds on to just get a half tent deduction on that wobble. Beautiful execution. Switch leap gainer layout. Incredible. Courtney had some nice difficulty, but she can add even more. When that Achilles tendon gets solid, she will increase the difficulty on this dismount. Only a gainer full in this competition, but she's capable of doing the two back handsprings. Double back, there's a score. A 9.9 .9 for Courtney Coupets. And after the fourth rotation for Georgia on the beam, Coupets with the best score, a cumulative 49. .200, and what that means, Lori, is that Ashley Miles needs a perfect 10 to tie Georgia. And a look at what Ashley's done so far in the meet, a 9.925 on this vault. But then, Lori, she ran into some problems on the bars. Ashley overthrew her major release move, missed her Hindor, a very rare mistake for her. Obviously upset, and now she has a mental obstacle to overcome heading into floor. She needs a 10, and she's done it before, as you can see. Three career 10s in this event. I have no doubt Ashley can put together an incredible performance. I am concerned about the perfect 10. Opening with a double layout, sky high. There has not been a perfect 10 awarded yet this season. We talked about the judges being strict. They are making these athletes really earn their high scores. She spent the majority of last season ranked number one in this event. You already know she can score a perfect 10 and this routine off to a razzling start. five foot seven so everything she does looks that much more impressive and explosive so athletic she's been looking forward to this moment all night and you can tell having a little fun playing up to the crowd over 14,000 people here to witness two of the top teams in the nation going ahead to head and it comes down to Ashley Miles on the floor last pass double pike wow. a solid landing she knows it Lori now it's up to the judges will they give the first perfect 10 of the season 14,000 Bama fans think they should give her a perfect 10 they're supporting Ashley Miles, waiting for the judges' score. She's done it before. One more look. Ashley makes explosive tumbling like this. Look easy. Again, she's five foot seven. So difficult to get two rotations in the laid out position. She simply floats through that first tumbling pass. And she takes it home with her third and final tumbling pass. A difficult double pike. And what a clean show off landing. So what will the judges score for Ashley Miles? A 9.950, a fine effort, but not a 10. She will get the best score on the floor routine, a cumulative score of 49.200 for the Crimson Tide. But the Georgia Gym Dogs have won the meet and remain undefeated by the slimmest of margins. Let's go to Lori now with the coach. Thanks, Corey. What an amazing 
competition, Coach. You said that if this competition was close heading into that final rotation with Alabama on floor and you on beam, that they would win. The team proved you wrong. How about that beam? I love it when the team proves me wrong. We were awesome on beam. Um, they kept their composure all the way through. We do have very strong beam. And Kelsey Erickson leading us off just like she did at the national championship last year. That set the pace. And what about Courtney Coupet struggling through that Achilles tendon injury and putting up a 9-9 last up on beam to solidify the win and a great all-around meet for her as well. She really did. It was great to see her get back on all four events. And she still was a little off on some of her landings, but she is just an outstanding athlete. And I'm sure will be one of the top athletes at the end of the season. Well, congratulations. A huge win for the Georgia Gym Dogs. Back to you, Corey. Thanks, Lori. They remain undefeated. A fine effort for the Gym Dogs. And also for Bama, let's go to Natalie Taylor with Coach Patterson. Coach, sad faces in Tuscaloosa tonight, but you could not have scripted a more exciting down-to-the-wire meet. Well, I, you know, I hope I hope people aren't sad because certainly they saw the collegiate gymnastics at its best. Uh, you saw the defending national champions, and you saw a very young Alabama team um, grow up tonight in front of your own eyes. And I, I'm very proud of how we did. Everybody wants to win, but I think we can use this to help motivate us to move forward. And you know, I just think this is awesome for college gymnastics. These two programs and what we have done in terms of the rivalry and and putting this kind of crowd in the stands. And speaking of the crowd in the stands, let's talk about that one, two, three punch at the end. Wasn't good enough to take the win, but the crowd, everyone was on their feet. Well, I think more than anything, you know, people saw a great show tonight, and hopefully they'll come back and, and watch us next next Friday night. Um, I, I just think that this, this is what it's all about, and, and this is what these young ladies come to the University of Alabama for, to get a great education, uh, to be part of championships, and to compete in an environment like this. Well, it was an exciting event. Event for everyone that was here. Corey, back up to you. Thanks, Natalie. This is what it's all about. The Georgia Gym Dogs remaining undefeated. Such power in the SEC when it comes to gymnastics. Two of the best teams in the entire country coming in. As we look at the all around results, look at this. Four competitors from Georgia. It speaks volumes of the strength of Georgia this year. Their depth is incredible to have four all-arounders who could possibly vie for an SEC or a national championship all-around title. That's simply amazing. And Courtney Kofetz wins this all-around title. And let's take a look back and see what she did today. Courtney showing off her toughness all night, pushing through an injury to her Achilles tendon. Almost more of a mental obstacle considering she tore her other Achilles tendon in 2003. Such a quick twitched athlete, explosive on the vault, and again on the floor exercise where she competed for the first time since the beginning of the season. But she topped off her performance tonight, so solid on the beam, a 9-9, solidified the all-around and team win. Here's Natalie with the winner. Courtney, all-around champion here tonight. You've been battling some issues with your Achilles tendon, yet you were able to put a solid performance, including the 9.9 on the beam, which sealed the victory. <laughs> How'd you do it? Um, you know, it was just a team effort tonight. Um, definitely all the way. You know, we've had so we had some stumbles here and there, but as a team, that's what kept us together. Well, Courtney, obviously a great performance on your part. Enjoy the all around for this exciting meet. Another SEC meet going down to the wire. The final routine tells the tale. The Georgia Gym Dogs remaining undefeated. For Lori Strong Ballard and Natalie Taylor, I'm Corey Kessler. Thanks for watching, everybody.